how long would it take you to build a function in the cloud running Node.js that gets automatically updated anytime you make any GitHub changes? Because if you're anything like me, you'd spend hours just trying to research what the right system is that you're going to use as a backend to run it all. And while there's great options out there, one of the things I've always been scared of is Firebase and its pricing structure, where you don't really know how many reads, writes, and operations you might have once your code actually is done and it is scaled. Plus, there's a huge learning curve to getting to use it. So I thought I'd try something new. I'm going to be checking out AppRite Cloud's new beta because this is exactly what it does. And apparently the barrier to entry is so easy that I can get this up and running in just five to 10 minutes. I want to start off building a simple hello world function and then something more complicated, integrating some AI to create maybe a chat GPT prompt interface. Let me show you how this works. On Google, I'm going to search up AppRite and I'm going to select AppRite Cloud, which is currently in public beta. Here, I'm going to sign in using my GitHub credentials, and this will automatically connect up my account. Now I can head to AppRite and create my very first project. For this project, I'm going to call it AI Startup. This is the dashboard. If you haven't seen my crash course on AppRite, which I'll link in the description, it does lots of things. So whether I'm building an application on the web, Flutter or Apple or Android, or even just an API with webhooks, it's all available here with some guides. It's a backend as a service, and it means that authentication with users and teams and security is built in. So our databases, which I can design and create any way I want. And one of my favorite things, functions, is also now enhanced, which I'll get into shortly. And you can also store files on the storage buckets, which are available just over here. But let me show you the new feature in functions, which is templates. It's really cool because it allows me to create a function in mere moments that is connected directly in my GitHub, runs in the cloud and automatically deploys whenever I make any changes. Here's my starter function template. I can choose any runtime I want, even bun, which seems very popular these days. However, I'm still a traditional Node.js type of person, so I'm going to select Node.js version 16 and select next. I could create some variables, but I'm going to skip that and select next once more, and I'm going to select to create a new repository. Finally, I want to connect this up to my GitHub account, so I'm going to select to connect the repository here. I'll have a few options since I'm part of a few different teams, but I'll just select to use my own account. I'll need to enable installing and authorizing on my personal account. So I'll select all repositories here and then select install and authorize. Heading back into AppRite, I can now configure my repository. I'll give it a name like AI Startup Project Template and I'll leave most of the other options as default. And that's it. It's now creating it in the background on GitHub. And not only that, it's also building the project and then finally deploying it straight in the cloud. And all of this only took 13 seconds. So let me check if this actually is working. I'll select the domain here, which was automatically generated and go to the page and I've got a hello world. And if I wanted to add a custom domain, I could do that as well. There's additional build logs so I can understand exactly what's happening in the background on the console. On the main dashboard, I can see things like the executions. If I wanted a custom domain, I could view the current one or create a brand new one and link it up. I could check out the usage of the function as well as the settings if I wanted to, for example, change things like its configuration, runtime, or its environmental variables. And editing or updating this function is quite simple. I'm going to connect the repository up locally using a GitHub desktop. Under repositories, I'll select add, and then I'm going to clone a repository. I'm going to find my AI startup function, and then I'm going to select to clone it inside of my GitHub folder. This only takes a few seconds to execute, and now I can open it up inside of Visual Studio Code. Inside of VS Code, I can open up the source folder and have a look at main.js. This is where the function resides. There's lots of markup so that you can understand what's happening, but it's basically a response whenever a user hits a URL where it says, hello world. I'm gonna change this to say maybe something like, hello AI startup project. Then I'll hit Control S to save these changes. However, these are just local changes. So inside of Git GitHub desktop, I'm going to push these out to the main branch. And this is where AppRite Cloud is very cool because it's going to detect that the main branch has an update and automatically redeploy that branch with the latest build, which you can see happening right here, right now. And in just a matter of about eight seconds, it's done. Let me test this by heading over to the domain URL over here. And I can see that the new hello message now says AI startup starter project world. Now to create a different type of function, I'm going to head 
head over to functions and select the templates. This time I'm going to select the prompt chat GPT. This uses open AI with chat GPT 3.5 turbo. And all I have to do is select create function. Here I'm going to select the runtime to be in node.js version 16. And then I'm going to plug in the open AI API key. I'll need to head over to OpenAI's website to generate a new one. I'll head to the menu and select login. I already have an account which I'm logged in, so I'll simply select API under the OpenAI options. At the top right, I can go to view API keys and I'm going to generate a new secret key. Remember to keep this private. I'll label this app right and then copy it and paste it into the section here as an environmental key that I can pass into the function. And that's all the configuration that's needed. I'll select next and create this as a new repository inside of GitHub. I'll keep it as a private repository and select next once more. There are a few more options such as the production branch and the root directory. But again, I'll select these as default and create this function. This is just now loading and building in the background. If I scroll down, I can see it processing down here. And in just about 10 seconds, it's active, which is great. So I can test this out. I'm going to head over to the domain name that was generated to test it out. And here it is, the prompt chat GPT demo. Let's see if it actually works. I'll pass in, hello, who are you? And I get a response. Hello, I'm an AI language model developed by OpenAI. And while this is a pretty simple example, it shows you how a function can sit between a user client and OpenAI to start building applications. I'm going to head back to AppRight Cloud. And over here, I can have a look at exactly what's happening in the background. I can see that the operations, such as the post request from the users, are being sent to the function over here. And I can can even have a look at the usage graph to see just how many executions are happening. I kind of want to check out this function and what it looks like inside of VS Code. So I'm going to open up a GitHub and clone the project like I did last time. I'll save prompt chat GPT here to my local laptop and then I'll select to open it up here in VS Code. The code structure for this function is quite simple. There's two folders, source and static. The source one is where we have the backend server. This is where we're communicating with OpenAI. And I can see this because it's importing the OpenAI library as well as utils.js. It's checking to see if the OpenAI API key has been assigned. And then it's running this request, which is a create a chat completion, passing that information back to the client. Under the static folder, I have index.html, and this is the web page the client is loading called prompt chat GPT demo. It has a simple JavaScript function here. This is what calls the backend server, and it's using Alpine, a very lightweight JavaScript framework so that it can present all of this information inside of the HTML code here. And this makes it quite easy and simple to customize if you wanted to build out your own MVP or idea. These were just two quick examples that I took a look at, but heading to functions and to templates, I saw that there are quite a few different options like a discord bot or for example generating pdfs or even on the second page how to shorten urls which i've noticed that some people turn into entire businesses i'd like to thank upright for sponsoring today's video they make videos like this and others happen on the channel if you want to learn more about them check them out in the description below otherwise if you have any questions about this video let me know in the comments and i'll see you in the next one thank you